Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems, and in this video, I'm going to show you our brand new tool, P2P Express. This tool is used when you want to move an embedded SharePoint uh, Power App into another SharePoint list. It also moves the flows associated with it, and you can move standalone flows with it as well. So let's get started and take a look at how this process works. We're looking here at a purchase order that's been created with Power Apps, and it's associated with a SharePoint list. And you can see that I have a document associated with this as well, as well called Wiffle Balls. And this is for a 100 Wiffle Ball purchase, and there's a document associated with it. It's kind of an interesting power app that we can discuss in another video. But let's take a look at P2P Express and see how we would move this embedded power app that's part of a SharePoint list into another SharePoint site. And let's double check that before we do it. If I say new, what you're going to see is I have a new Power App form launched when I select the new on the SharePoint list. So we want to move this to a new SharePoint site collection. And right now it's pretty tough to do, but with our new tool, we make it easy. So let's go take a look. What you're going to see is when you launch P2P Express, the first screen will tell you a little bit about it and give you a link so that you can watch instructional videos. When you're ready to start, we'll go ahead and start the copy process. There are seven steps that you're going to walk through. And in the first step, it's just going to give you an overview of what we're going to do. Let's go to the next screen. Now, when you get started, what you want to do is pick the site where your SharePoint app currently lives. This is the SharePoint site. And I can see right here that it's this lack request. Now, I did this earlier, so it should be in my drop downs here which I can see that. If it's the first time, you'll just type it in. And notice I'm just putting in the portion of the URL that's the site address. And I'm going to log in with my username. And my password. And I hit the next button. Now, when I do that, I'm going to see all the lists in that SharePoint site. And this is sort of a complex Power App. It actually uses a lot of different lists behind the scenes to do a lot of things. It also has a couple of flows. And what I'm going to do is select all of the, either the list or the document libraries that this app uses, and I'm going to create those in a new site with the tool and then move over the Power App and the flows associated with it, activate them, and start using this same app in another site. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start with my doc type and I'm going to select my file loader. I'm going to select my flow doc. These are ones that I know I'm using in my app. The request, the request files. So there's a total of five. Now I'm going to go to the next page. I know that I want these five. One hint, if you have a lookup, make sure that you import that lookup and set it up before you put in the main list or the main doc library. In this case, I know doc type is used by my request and also by the request file. So I loaded that first. Let's go to next. Okay, now I'm going to find the target where I want to create these new lists, and I also want to export out the Power App and the flows to work in this new list. So I'm going to pause a second while I get everything set up. I'll be right back. Okay, here I am at a new site and I'm going to set up a subsite under that where I want to move this app into. So I just go into my um, site contents here and I'm going to select subsites and I'll pick a new one. I will say that this one's going to be a subsite called PO2. And I'm going to go ahead and create that right now. Okay, I can see that my new site has been created. It's called PO2. I'm going to copy that URL. And if I look over here under the site contents, I'll see that it's a standard team site. Not a lot going on here. So we'll go back into P2P Express. 
And I'm going to put that target site address here and log in with my password. Now it's telling me in step five that it's going to create these new lists and doc libraries in that target site. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm just going to hit the create lists and let it go. And you'll see a little blue swirl while it's creating all of those new lists and libraries. I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, I'm back and I can see that in this PO2, it's created all the necessary lists and also doc libraries that my app uses. And now the next button is illuminated. So I'll go to the next step. Let's see what we do now. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I will go back to my original site that holds the Power App and also the Flows. And I'm going to export those out. And then in this step, I'm going to point to the package and I'm going to modify those in the tool so that they're ready to be used with this new site. So let me go ahead and go back to the old site. I'm going to go to Power Apps and I'll show you how you can export out the package as well as in Flow. We'll go through that next. Okay, now that I'm back in the original site, I see that in the Power App I have the option to customize. And when I do that and I select it, what it's going to do is launch my Power App Studio. And I'm going to want to get into the versions and then select that so that I can export out this Power App to be used in our new target site. And it's very simple to do. I'll show you how to do that. So we'll wait a second while everything gets loaded. And if I go to my file menu and say, see all versions, what I'm going to notice is that I'm going to see all the versions of this Power App that I was creating for that SharePoint list. And right up here, there's an export package. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to save that package that gets created. I'll call it Dave's Export PO. And I'm going to also just make note of a few other things. I want to make this new when I import it. I don't want to update one that exists because I'm creating a brand new one. And I'm also going to create a new flow. This actually has a flow embedded into it. And I'm going to create that as well. And then the connection, I'll just select that when I do the import on the other side. So it looks everything's good here. I'm going to go ahead and export this. And you see right down here in the left, it's creating my package. And it says, don't navigate away. So let's just give it a minute to make the package, and I'll be right back when it's finished. Okay, the package is done. And what I'm going to do now is save it into a place on my local PC where I know it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and find that. I have a folder called Video Demo, and this is going to be in my source file. I'll put it into that. I'm also going to export out my flows, and I'll show you how I do that in just a minute. Okay, I can see that the system created a little zip file here, and this has all the code to export out that Power App from that SharePoint site. Now what we're going to do is we're also going to create some export packages of the flows that I use. And I know that there's a couple of flows that I use in that app. These are standalone flows. Remember there was one embedded one, but there's two of them. There's this PO demo create folder and a PO demo create word file. I'm going to export out these similar way where I just select the three dots and say uh, export out a package. And I'm going to put it in the same location that I had my Power App in. So I'll do that. I'm going to put all the settings, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Now I'm going to show you the whole process of exporting a flow. They're pretty fast. What I do is just select the three dots, and I'm going to export a package. And I'll call this one, and I'll give it a second here, and I'll call it Dave's Word flow. I'll just make it like that. That's easy enough. And I'll just stick a little space here to clean things up. And then what I'll do is export this out and just show you how simple it is. Now remember, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'll save it. And you'll see that it'll create a new name for me when I do this. And I'm going to go ahead and export this out. And it's going to ask me now when it's done, where do I want to save it? It didn't take very long. 
and I'll put it in that same source folder where I'm putting all of this code that I'm exporting out of the system. I'll just save it. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So now what we want to do is go back to P2P and we're going to modify those files so that we can then import them into the new target site. So let's go ahead and start by selecting our package. We're going to open and there's our P2P Express. Let's go over to the video demo and the source files. And let's look, let's start with our Power App. And I know it's this guy here. I'm going to open it up. And now I'll create a copy. And it takes about uh, a minute or two to update this so that it'll run in the new source, uh, the new destination where we want to make this new Power App run. So let's do that. I'll pause it and be right back. First of all, I'll just save it before I leave you. I'll put it in my destination files, and I'll just see how it says new there. I'm going to say also destination so we know what it is. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll save it. It'll take just a minute or two. So there's our little swirl. I'll be right back. Hey, we did it. We're back. And you can see that the package converted successfully. So I'm going to go ahead now and modify the two flows as well. They go a lot faster because they're a lot smaller. Let's go ahead and open up a flow. And we can go back to our video demo, our source files. And I'm going to work on this word flow first. So let's select that and create a copy. Now we'll go ahead and pick our destination. And I'll just call that new PO. So we'll call that new flow, just that I know what it is. So I'll save it. And this won't take too long at all. That one's done. Now let's go back and get our last one. We'll say open. And we know that we did the export of the word. So let's go grab that last one that I have over here in my source. And that's this create folder flow. Let's open that one up. And now I'm going to create a copy of that one as well. And I'll put it into my destination so I know where it is. And I'll just call this flow as well. That way I can find it. And I say save. And it'll run for a minute, and that's it. So now we're getting close. All we're going to have to do once these are modified is we're going to import these into Power Apps and Flow, open them up, and then you'll see that these are going to run in that new environment. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. So we're going to go ahead and hit the next button just to see what that screen looks like. And you can watch videos here for this last step, and it involves importing these modified packages now into Power Apps and Flow. You're going to be amazed when you see how easy this is. Just another minute here, we'll be there. Now I logged into Power Apps and I've selected the same environment where my default was. And I'm going to go ahead now, I selected the apps and I'm going to say import package. And now I'm going to import in that modified package that's pointing to the new site that we created. So select Import Package, hit Upload, and we're going to go ahead now and pick our video demo, our destination files, and let's pick out that Power App. And I say Open. It'll take a minute while it uploads it. And you can see that's that zip file, and it says Uploading Your Package. Don't navigate away. So OK, we'll let it go for a minute, and when it's ready, it's going to ask me a few things. Remember it said create as new, create as new, that's fine. And I'm going to select during import, it's a little red here. So it wants to make sure who's the person, what's the context of the user. I'll just select myself, that's easy enough to do. And I might just go ahead and just say, just to make things simple, I'll say a video here so we can see it easily. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll go on this app, I'll say save. And I'll select this setting and I'll just say video. That way we can see that it is the one we created. Say save. And now I'm going to go ahead. I'm ready to go and I'm going to import it. And we'll wait a minute and see what happens. Here we go.
Okay, we have great news here. You can see that the app went ahead and imported by the green little check marks here. And what I want to do now is you can see here that I can open the app. So let's go ahead and do that. It's been now imported into that SharePoint list association. And when I click on it, I'm going to see that that form that we saw in the source site is now associated with a destination. Almost there, you can see it. I'm going to allow it on the permissions. And what I'll notice is initially I'm going to see some red X's on those linked other lists that I have. I'm going to go ahead and refresh that. You see those little X's? It's real simple. I just go to data sources. And I'm going to see that there's my embedded flow that I talked about. But I'm also going to refresh this data source. I'll refresh the next one. And you'll see those little X's are going away. And I'll do one last one here. Now, one last little trick that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the title field in this one. And we want to just change one thing, because we want to publish this. Right now, it's sort of in this quasi-state. It's been moved over. And now I want to make a small change so that I can save it and publish it. So I selected that text. And instead of the parent, I'm just making it title. I'm going to select Save. And I'm going to select Publish to SharePoint. And I'll publish it. And now you're going to see that this new app has been moved over to the new list that we created. So give it a minute here. And you see how it says PO List 2. Now this is that site we created, remember? So what we'll do is we'll take a look under the list called Requests, because I know that's where I have it. I'll go to Site Contents. And I'll go to my Request List. And I select New. And lo and behold, we see our new Power App moved over to this embedded SharePoint list. How about that? Pretty great stuff. And it also has some of the drop downs already filled out for us. And it knows all about the people. There's no sort of surprises here. It works as expected. And so the last thing we're going to do is just move over those flows as well. So I'll be right back and you'll see that we've completed the migration and we can then have these apps that are embedded in SharePoint list easy to move just like that. So I'll be right back. Now, here I am in Flow. It's a similar process, but notice I've already got that embedded Flow has been moved over when I embedded the Power App. So two kinds of flows to think about. One of them are embedded into the Power App itself, and the other are standalone flows. So if you have an embedded flow, it's going to import it right in. But if it's a standalone like I have, I just select my import from my flows, and then I'm going to select those packages that I modified. If you remember, we did that in a previous step. So I go to my video demo. I go to my destination. And I know that there's two flows, right? I have this word flow and I have this zip. So let's do this one first. We'll do the word flow flow. So I'll upload it. And these don't take very long at all. And once it's uploaded, I'll go ahead and import that in. It takes just a minute. Okay, I'm back, and what I'm going to do now is just select myself again, like I did in the other one. It just needs to know who's got permissions to it. And I'm going to go ahead and import this. This is the word flow that we created. So it takes just a minute. These flows are pretty small. And you see here it says, importing your package. Don't navigate away, so we're not going to mess around. We're going to stay right here like it says. And that one's done. And it's very interesting. I'll open up these flows for you in a minute and show you sort of what they do. I'll be right back with a second one. So we're on the home stretch now. You can see that I've got the two flows. This is the embedded. That's the one I just imported. Let's do the last one. And that's going to be that folder one. I remember that I created a second export. So let's grab that guy. And I'm looking at my destination files. And I'm looking for that one that is the folder flow, right? Because if you look here, I remember that we did the word a minute ago. So let's pick the folder and open it. And it's going to 
upload that and I'll import that one in as well. We'll be right back. Same drill as last time. I'll just select that person that's associated with this flow. It's the context that's going to run under. And now I'm ready to put in that last flow. Here we go. Okay, here's that imported flow, one of them, and you can see what it does. The tool goes through and it updates all the references so that we're pointing to the right uh, site and the right lists that we've selected as our target. So we do a lot of work for you. If you were to go in and take a look, there's a lot of code in here that we've gone through and updated with the proper information in it. And some of these things have relative URLs in them and some are full on URLs. But if you look, you're going to see like here's a relative URL that was updated for us by the tool. And you would have to go in and do all of this by hand. And trust me, it is very tedious. It takes a lot of uh, care and attention, and it's very error prone. Our tool probably cuts at least 90% of the work or more that you would have to do if you start to get into some of these complex apps. So our app goes through and updates all these site addresses, the relative URLs, whether that's in an action that's referencing a list or in some of these variables and things like that. So I think we've got everything put into our new target site. I'm going to go over there and set up a few things so we can use our newly created Power App from that source that we had created in the other SharePoint list. Be right back with you. Okay, I'm back and I cheated a little bit. I went ahead and added a new PO request in this PO2 just to show you that everything was working. So if we go into the request, you can see here what one of these workflows does is it takes the comments and it converts that into a Word file and attaches it in a doc library behind the scenes. And I also added another document to this request as a supporting doc. And if we go back into the flows and take a look at this, we can see sort of what's going on with our new flows. I can see that this flow succeeded and it's the ones that are all set up from our new um, PO2 stuff. If you look at it, you can see it in the URL there. So these are the migrated flows that we created along with a migrated Power App. And you can see here that we've got the three flows, one's embedded, and then these two are the standalone flows. And everything's working as we expected that it would. And so that's our last one here. I'm going to go ahead and add one more request over here in my site. And I'm going to show you this sort of all working now in real time. So if I go in and say, I'm going to make it a 200 T-ball T's. And I'm just going to say 200. I don't want to fill out a whole lot here, but I'll go ahead and put in um, this is a new file associated with that T-ball request. So what happens is the flow will take this, convert it into a Word file, associate it with a doc library, and pull it up after we save it. And then we can add in files as well. I'll go ahead and save this and let it run for a minute, and I'll come back and show you that. Okay, I'm back now, and you can see that this is my T-ball request. Here's the Word document that got created based upon the text I put in the comments. That's kind of a cool little flow that I did for a customer of ours. I'll close this back down and go back over here. And let's look at the flow that did that. If I look here on my lack new video, I'll see that I've got this. Let's refresh this and see if we have a couple of runs here. So I can see that it ran um, four minutes ago, and it was 15 seconds to do that. Now, if I'm going to do my last little bit on this, I'm going to add in a file and associate it. That'll kick off a second flow. And I'll just say this is a, a new file. doesn't really matter. I'll attach a PowerPoint that I have sitting here. And I'll just give it a doc type. I'll say it's PowerPoint and say this is new. And this will kick off another flow, that's when we migrated, and it adds this file into the doc library associated with this purchase order. And if you want to know more about this app, 
just reach out to us and I can talk to you about how we did it. But there's a little loop going here. There's some interesting code behind this to make all this work. In a minute, we should see that file added. And then we can see that that fire, the, the flow also fired off. If I click here, I would see it. So the last thing I'll look at is my flow and go back to my flows. Now remember I had that one called um, add a, a, a file. So if I create word file, I have a new folder and this is the one that actually kicks off that request to add a new one in. You can see it did it 40 seconds ago. Okay, so this video is now wrapping up. I want to just quickly go over what we showed you. We showed you our brand new product, P2P Express. This is a tool that we've created to let you migrate or copy uh, embedded Power App and the flows associated with it to another SharePoint site. And this is great if you want to do application life cycle management. Let's say you want to do dev, test, and production. Or let's say you want to reuse an app in many places throughout your organization and it's associated with SharePoint. Today, there's no other way to do it but our tool. So if you're interested, please contact us. You can get in touch with us at www.skylightsystems.com. You can email us at info at skylightsystems.com or give us a call. We look forward to hearing from you. I hope you found this video informative and thank you for your